Thank you very much. Please be seated. As the anticipation in the air reaches its limit, the procession of graduates is a momentous journey, symbolizing the culmination of years of With gongs billowing and, and caps poised, this solemn march heralds the triumph of knowledge and the dawn of a new chapter for each graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now witness the procession of our graduates.
Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for Youth, Sport, and Culture, Ms. Desri Stephen, the Venerable Michael Marshall, Manager of the Ankin High School, Reverend Kiba Coffey, our featured speaker this morning, members of the AHS Board of Management, President of the Ankin High School Parent Teacher Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Batiste, past principals, our distinguished guests, Ms. Kim Paris, acting principal of the Anglican High School, staff of the Anglican High School, parents, graduate, par sorry, parents, guardians of the 2023 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School who are present and those viewing online. 2023 graduating class, good morning. I am Ms. Melia, Mrs. Melia Daniels Peters, and it is with immense joy and honor that I stand before you as your mistress of ceremonies for this important occasion, the Anglican High School graduation, graduation of 2023. Today, we gather on the team that resonates deeply with all of us. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying, don't give up. As we embark on this journey of celebration and reflection, let us embrace the wisdom in these words and carry it with us beyond these walls. I now invite Archdeacon Marshall to lead us in the blessing of this momentous occasion. We stand for prayers. As we reverence God, acknowledging his presence before us here today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God of wisdom and might, we thank you for this day. As we gather here to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating class, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude, hearts full of joy. We acknowledge your presence amongst us and seek your blessing upon this significant occasion. We thank you for the journey that has brought these graduates to this moment, a journey of growth, learning, and discovery. We are grateful for the support of parents, the commitment and guidance of the principal and staff of the Anglican High School, and all those who have played a role in shaping these young lives. Lord, we ask for your guidance for this graduating class as they embark on a new chapter in their lives. Grant them wisdom to take and make choices that align with your will and courage to face the challenges that lie ahead. May they use the knowledge and skills acquired during their high school years to contribute positively to this world. Through your gracious spirit, we ask that you bless them with patience as they explore new horizons. Bless them, Lord, with humility in the face of success and abundance. Bless them with compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Bless them with generosity in the midst of the challenges to come. Bless them with gratitude for friends, mentors, and family who have supported them through this journey. We pray for the families of those graduating, thanking you for the love and sacrifices that have brought them to this point. Bless them with the continued strength and unity as they witness the achievements of their loved ones. In this moment of celebration, 
We also remember those who make their facing difficulties and challenges. May your comfort and your grace be with them. May this graduation inspire hope and determination for a brighter future. And finally, Lord, as we commence this ceremony, we invite your spirit to dwell amongst us. May the proceedings be filled with joy, gratitude, and a sense of accomplishment. Guide us through this day, and may it be a reflection of grace and your blessing upon us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Archdeacon Marshall. You may all be seated. A warm welcome sets the tone for any gathering. I invite Ms. Reticia Richards to extend greetings and set the stage for the unfolding of this celebration. Secretary with responsibility for youth, sports, and culture, Ms. Desri Stephen, the Venerable Michael Marshall, Manager of the Anglican High School, Reverend Kiba Coffey, our featured speaker this morning, members of the Anglican High School Board of Management, President of the Anglican High School Parents Teachers Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich, other distinguished guests, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis and Mrs. Madeline Batiste, past principals, Ms. Kim Paris, our anchor in the storm, our guiding light, the captain of our ship, Mrs. Milia Daniels Peters, chair of today's ceremony, the staff of the Anglican High School, parents, or guardians of the 2023 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School who are present, those who are viewing online, and the stars of this program, the graduates. Good morning. It is an honor to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Leonardo da Vinci once said, Graduating is an exciting time, for it is both an ending and a beginning. It's warm memories from the past and big dreams for the future. Today, we gather to commemorate the trying but wonderful five years at the Anglican High School before this journey has finally ended. We all have our unique experiences, but together we share love and gratitude towards the school and each other. Our time here has been filled with both triumphs and defeat, laughter, tears, and abundant memories that we will carry wherever our path leads us. To our fellow well-wishers, join us as we the graduates acknowledge our achievement before this chapter has ended and a new one begins. I thank you. Thank you. 
that the words of the following scripture resonate in our hearts as Miss Kiwana Batiste takes the stage to share a passage that encourages resilience and steadfastness. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may mature and complete, not lacking anything. The word of the Lord. Enduring trials with patience and steadfastness leads to the development of resilience and completeness. Thank you, Ms. Batiste, for the reading of God's word. To infuse a rhythm of joy into our celebration, we have a soul-stirring musical interlude by a talented group of achievers.
And now, the heartbeat of our school, Ms. Kim Paris, will present the principal's report, a reflection of the achievements and growth witnessed throughout the academic year. Permanent Secretary with responsibility for Youth, Sports, and Culture, Ms. Desiree Stephen, the Venerable Archdeacon Michael Marshall, Manager of the Anglican High School, Reverend Kiba Kerfee, our featured speaker this morning, members of AHS Board of Management, President of the Anglican High School Parent Teacher Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Batiste, past principals, other distinguished guests, Mrs. Melia Daniels Peters, chairperson for this morning's ceremony staff of the Anglican High School, parents, guardians of the 2023 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School who are present and those who are viewing online. 2023 graduating class, good morning. God has been good to the Anglican High School. I want to give thanks and praises to him first for everything that has happened during the year. I am truly grateful to everyone else who assisted in one way or another. Today, we are here to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of these 108 beautiful, hardworking, and intelligent young ladies. The theme for today's exercise encourages you to not fear failure, but rather fear not trying, and challenges you to never give up. Consider that life is a journey filled with challenges, triumphs, and yes, failures. But it is important to understand that failure is a stepping stone on the path to success. Each failure brings with it a valuable lesson and an opportunity to learn and grow. It creates an avenue where you can discover your resilience, strength, and the true extent of your capabilities. Young ladies, I implore you to not let the fear of failure paralyze you. Do not let it prevent you from pursuing your dreams and aspirations. Instead, embrace the challenges that come your way for an unwavering commitment to remain steadfast will lead to success. Simply put, if you give up, it is guaranteed that success will not show up. 
We are hopeful that your experiences as members of the Anglican High School family have enabled you to be assertive, honest, resilient young ladies who will blossom into loyal and productive citizens as is the mission of the Anglican High School. Thus far, you have done well, and we are extremely proud of you. Let's put our hands together as we recognize the significant milestone our graduates have accomplished. Let's put our hands together today. Parents, I extend hearty congratulations to you for your daughter awards performance. We at the Anglican High School are grateful for the confidence you have placed in us over the years. Our heartfelt gratitude is extended to you. To the teaching staff of the Anglican High School, my profound gratitude is extended to you for your depiction of hard work, team spirit, commitment, and diligence as teachers. You made this happen. Today we are celebrating the results of your efforts. Teachers, I would like you to stand and audience, I would like you to put your hands together for our teachers, please. Teachers of the Anglican High School, please stand. Thank you very much. Similarly, I extend sincere appreciation to all the non-teaching staff of the school. You perform an essential role and we are eternally grateful to you. Special commendation goes out to the graduation committee for their commitment and diligence in organizing today's event. We are immensely grateful for the high level of collaboration which exists among members of our school's community and appreciate the contributions made by all stakeholders. To the Board of Management, Ministry of Education through the Minister of Education, Chief Education Officer, District Education Officer, Curriculum Officer, and all other support staff. Thank you for your guidance and support. To our past principals, past teachers, and active past pupils in the USA, Canada, and at home, thank you for your willingness to give of your time, financial assistance, services, and general support to us at the Anglican High School. We appreciate your kind assistance, especially for your support towards today's graduation ceremony. To our Parent Teacher Association, headed by Mr. Monty Greenwich, our president and executive members, thank you for your contribution towards the development of the members of the Anglican High School family. Since we have been the recipients of many generous donations during the year, in like manner, we decided to reciprocate generosity. As part of our 107th anniversary celebration, we gave a financial donation to the Grenada National Patients Kidney Foundation as payment for dialysis treatment for three kidney patients. We also presented hampers to two elderly members in our community and to two homes for the elderly. Again, we are thankful to God for his blessings upon our institution. And here you can give us a round of applause. The academic year 2022 to 2023 ended with 17 forms altogether, with a total of 585 achievers. 
We welcome 127 achievers in September of 2023. Ms. Ramona Passad and Ms. Crystal Smith are no longer with us as they have moved on to advance their educational journey. However, Ms. Rachel Findley has joined the staff, has recently joined the staff. To date, we have 17 forms with 592 achievers on roll and a staff complement of 55. 45 teaching staff and 12 non-teaching members. At AHS, we are continuously endeavoring to complement our focus on academic success with the holistic development of our achievers by providing exposure to numerous extracurricular opportunities. During the period on the review, we held two successful sporting events in February and November, respectively. The November sport meet sparked a level of competitiveness which was never experienced before. The very last race determined the winner. Let us congratulate Walton House. We also participated in the 2023 Republic Bank Intercall Games. Our athletes showcased their resilience and true sportsmanship, which resulted in the school attaining second place at the Games. He participated in the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange Regional School Investment Competition and placed first among 12 schools in the intra-country or local segment. <laughs> then we moved on and placed second among seven schools in the regional segment. Give us a hand. We are trying. We hosted an in-house science fair. We held our Interform netball competition. We hosted a 2023 Miss AHS pageant as part of our 107th anniversary celebration. We participated in the Ministry of Sports National Secondary School Cross Country Run. We engaged our achievers in our third annual Youth Parliament. We held enrollment for 33 rangers and 32 girl guides. We participated in the Star Malt Intersecondary Football Competition and made it to the quarterfinal round. We participated in the Grand Lab Debates, made it to the quarterfinal round of competition and received a $3,000 project award. We hosted a Fathers-led assembly as part of Child Month activities. We had three of our achievers nominated for the AA Lagrenade Shield, and one was nominated for the TA Marichaux Cup Award. We had two of our achievers ranked sixth in the region, and third and fourth respectively in Grenada, for the top candidates in the June 2023 Caribbean Certificate for Secondary Level Competence, CCSLC, English Assessment. We had both our junior and senior netball teams placed in the finals of the D Sport Shop Ministry of Sports Inter-Secondary Netball Competition. Our junior team placed second overall while our senior team is scheduled to play on Friday. At this juncture, I wish to acknowledge the efforts of Ms. Barbara Simpson and Mrs. Karen Nelson Cato for their dedicated and invaluable service towards the development of netball at our school. 
Let's put our hands together. Let us now turn our attention on the graduating class of 2023. In 2022, the school CSEC pass rate stood at approximately 70%. Teachers, parents, graduates, and guests, Happy am I to announce that in 2023, the school's overall CSEC pass rate is 78.12%. This is an increase of 8.12% when compared to the 2022 pass rate. This is what determination looks like. Graduates, the message is clear. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. Do not give up. Embrace challenges. Learn from failures and let perseverance be your guiding light. We commend the 45 achievers who by way of performance challenge themselves to sit more than the average number of subjects. And here I'm referring to eight subjects and above. And secured passes in virtually every subject they sat. Chief among them, is one of our top performers who secured 18 CSEC passes. A more comprehensive list of the top performances can be found on pages 9 and 10 of the graduation program. Of the 28 subjects offered at the school, we saw an overall improvement in the pass rates of 24 subject areas this year. Five subjects received 100% passes. 11 subjects received between 90 to 99% passes. Three subjects received between 80 to 89% passes. Three subjects received between 70 to 79 passes, while six subjects received below 60 percent passes. Noteworthy is the fact that 91 out of 101 achievers passed English A, while 18 out of 18 achievers received grade ones in physical education. Let's we commend the 76 achievers who secured five or more CSEC subject passes this year. And most importantly, we commend each and every one of you who will leave here today with the spiritual, moral, social, and intellectual values we aim to uphold. Class of 2023, as I conclude, I encourage you to go forth and make your mark, knowing that each step, even the ones accompanied by failure, is a step closer to the path of success that awaits you. I extend congratulations to you, the graduates of class of 2023. The members of the Anglican High School family wish you success in all your future endeavors. Be loyal to your school and reciprocate the generosity which was extended to you when you are in a position to do so. Pay it forward. Remember to keep the flag of your alma mater ever high. And always remember, factor non verba, deeds not words. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to bless the Anglican High School.
Now, after all of that, God has truly been good to us at the Anken High School. Thank you, Ms. Paris, for the principal's report. I would like to extend the honor of presenting Ms. Shadi Aline to the stage to graciously introduce our distinguished speaker. Good morning, everyone. With protocol already established, Reverend Kiva Coffey hails from the beautiful island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Her journey into the worlds of academia and spirituality has been nothing short of miraculous. She began a transforming educational path at the Seneca College of Applied Arts in Toronto, Canada, motivated by a great love of travel and a genuine interest in engaging with diverse cultures. Her skills and passion in the field of tourism and travel gained her her first degree and provided the groundwork for her future endeavors. In 2021, she completed her Bachelor of Arts in Theology at Codrington College, UWE in Barbados, <coughs> obtaining second class honors. This academic performance represented her dedication to intellectual pursuits and personal spiritual development, sorry. Following her education in Canada, she returned home to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, where she worked in the hotel and hospitality industry for about 10 years. Much of her work was spent overseeing activities on the picturesque Grenadine Islands of Mystique and Beckway. But it was during her stay in Beckway that she became a respected member of the St. Mary's with Holy Cross Church, actively working as a mentor in an after-school program for, students, for the students in need of extra help. Her decision to leave the world of tourism and enter the sacred ministry demonstrated her dedication to living a meaningful life. Since her ordination to the diaconate in 2021, she, she has been working at the parish of St. George with St. Vincent, St. Peter, St. Luke, and St. Alban in Grenada. As she grew in the priesthood, she took on the post of assistant curate at said parish where she contributed to its spiritual well-being. She is currently the sole female Anglican priest in the islands of Grenada, Piti Batnik, and Kareku, which can be difficult, but offers enormous opportunity as it deepens her sense of purpose. I thank you. Permanent Secretary Responsibility for Youth, Sports and Culture, Ms. Desiree Stephen, the Venerable Michael Marshall, Manager of the Anglican High School, members of the Anglican High School Board of Management, President of the Anglican High School Parent Teachers Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich, Mrs. Glenda Mason Morgan Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Batis, past principals, other distinguished guests, Ms. Kim Paris, acting principal of the Anglican High School, Mrs. Melia Daniels, Peter's chair of today's ceremony, staff of the Anglican High School, parents and guardians of the 2023 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School 
who are present and those viewing online, 2023 graduating class. A warm welcome to everyone and good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, as we prepare to end one chapter and look forward to the beginning of a new chapter, I'm deeply humbled and honored to address you as we gather to give thanks and praise for this momentous occasion, which is a day filled with joy, achievement, and the promise of a future brimming with great potential. So the graduating class of 2023 of the Anglican High School, pat yourself on the shoulder for persevering thus far without giving up. Parents and guardians and supporters, also you did a job well done in being there for them, giving them that well-deserved support. But it is not finished. It is only now beginning, as they will need the continued love, support, and encouragement going forward. The staff and teachers at the Anglican High School, you have also done your best, molding and instilling knowledge thus far. It is now for this graduating class to continue what you will have started. So as you embark on this journey beyond the confines of this school walls, I want to share a message with you that is summed up in the theme of today's ceremony. Do not fear, rather fear not trying, don't give up. Isaiah 41.10 says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Thus in a world where success is often glorified and fear often paralyzes us, it is quite important to remember that failure is not the end of the road, but it is a stepping stone. And you are to remember that God is always with you. And I'm not talking about the feeling of fear, because we all have done, we have those feelings. But it's about letting that fear stop you. You cannot live your life in fear of failing, or always thinking about what is going to happen. But you are to be brave and bold. Think about the waves of the sea you might have watched on the beautiful beaches of Grenada. They rise and they fall, but they never stop trying to reach the shore. In a similar way, you must not fear failure, but rather embrace it as a part of your journey towards your goal. We all know the famous Nike logo sign that says, just do it. So just like the logo says, you need to not doubt and fear and just do it. So as you step out into the world, beyond these walls of your school, there will be times when you will face setbacks. Your dreams may seem distant and you will doubt your abilities. These moments, my dear graduates, are not signs of weakness but they're tests of your determination. Embrace these tests and remember that it is often in your moments of great difficulty that we will discover our true strength. Fear is real, but you need to change the storyline of what you are telling yourself. Each of you is unique and your paths will be different. Your future might not always be smooth, and that's perfectly okay. Life is filled with many challenges and you will most likely fail often. It will be painful and discouraging at times and it will test you to your very core. But if you want to change the world, you do not need to be afraid of the challenges. It is in those challenges and obstacles that will shape you into a remarkable individual that you are meant to be. Just as a musician listens to diverse melodies to broaden their horizons and embrace the diversity of experiences that life offers, 
These challenges are the symphony that will create your life masterpiece. There's a story of a man who faced countless failures and rejections before achieving greatness. His name is Thomas Edison. You may have heard about him as he is the inventor of the electric light bulb. Edison once said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that don't work. This statement represents the spirit of resilience and determination. Edison's journey was filled with countless setbacks, but he never gave up. He saw each failure as a lesson towards his success. His journey reminds us that failure is not an obstacle. It is just an opportunity. It is an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to improve. It is an opportunity to be better today than you were yesterday. So when you face those challenges and when you encounter failures, I urge you to remember Edison's words. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So embrace those moments when things don't go as planned, as there will be times when that will happen, and use them as your stepping stone to your future success. Do not let failure hold you back. Instead, let it be a driving force that pushes you forward and pushes you to strive for greatness. It is crucial to always remember that you're not alone on this journey. Besides God, you have the support of your families, your friends, and most of all, your teachers who have been there for you. And in these moments of doubt, reach out to them for they will be your anchors in the storm and remember that you are part of a larger community, a support system that believes in you and your potential. Romans 8:28 tells us, we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. So there's that assurance that even in the face of failure, God can bring about good and purpose. Every experience, including setbacks, can be a part of a greater plan. So trust in God, in his wisdom and in his guidance, and have faith that even failures can lead to a brighter future. So as you go out into the world, I encourage you to be a source of strength and support for each other. Embody the values of humility and love. Be advocates for equality and inclusivity. Because in this world, there seem to be so many divisions. Be the ones who bridge the gaps, who extend the hand to those in need, and who strive to bring people together. You, the graduating class of 2023, are the future leaders the future innovators, and the change makers of our world. The world needs your passion, your ideas, and your determination. It needs you to be the ones who do not give up when faced with adversity. It needs you to be the one who faces every challenge and who fearlessly pursue your dreams. So as you step into the next chapter of your lives, do not fear the journey. Do not fear the obstacles you may encounter, as there will be many. And most importantly, do not fear failure. Instead, embrace it as an opportunity to learn and then to grow. Have the courage to chase your dreams relentlessly, no matter how difficult they may seem. You are to go where the fear is, because at the end of the day, the world needs people who are different. And always remember, the world is waiting for your unique contributions that only you can make. Each one of you has the potential to make a difference, to leave a mark on this world, and to inspire others with your own story. 
in life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But remember to keep in mind before you do give up that the only way the possibility still remains that something can happen if, if you never give up. So my dear graduates, as you leave Anglican High School and you embark on this new journey, I leave it to you as the team says, do not fear failure, rather fear not trying. Do not give up. You are to embrace every challenge, savor every victory, and never ever give up on your dreams. This world is yours to shape, and I do not doubt that you will do so with grace, courage, and unwavering determination. So class of 2023, congratulations. The world is waiting for your brilliance and your tenacity, and you will undoubtedly bring to it. And may God richly bless you as you go forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend Cuffey. From today, we will go to where the fear is. To continue our celebration, is a mesmerizing steel pan rendition will be performed by a group of our talented graduates. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, ladies. That truly was mesmerizing. Um, to the driver of PAK957, your windows are down and it has been raining. So please, urgently, I beg you, check on your vehicle. I now invite Ms. Jada Budd and Ms. Shalisa Noel, who will do a poem for us to represent their thoughts and emotions as they bid farewell to this chapter of their lives. One, two, three, four, five. The years that were assigned to each girl to build our character, help us become well-rounded and, and thrive. thrive. Entering the gates flooded with emotions, many leaving our primary school friends behind, others with just a few to cling on to, all just a facade until we break loose. Through textbooks thick and laughter loud, high school's journey a vibrant crowd, in classrooms filled with endless laughter, Memories made was a thrilling matter. Don't give up when shadows loom. Graduate with courage, let your spirit bloom. The future unfolds like a story untold. Paths diverge and destinies unfold. Embrace the unknown with valor and might. For graduates stand ready to conquer the height. Fear not failure, let courage rise. For trying is where your true strength lies. We thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to acknowledge excellence. We now proceed with the presentation of prizes and awards to those who have excelled in various fields. Pleasant morning, everyone. That was good, but we can do better. Pleasant morning, everyone. Good morning. That's a little better. Today, I have the honor and privilege to recognize the students amongst us who have dedicated their lives to excellence. Please join me as we celebrate the following students. And to assist me with the distribution of the first few awards, please put your hands together. Let us invite Ms. Judy Benoit, a member of the AHS Governing Board. Ms. Benoit will be assisting with the awards for the top three CSEC performers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our top three CSEC performers. Number three. Janique Mitchell. <laughs> Number two, Retisha Richards. Number one, Sean Lynn Nicholas. Hi. 
Ladies and gentlemen, every year we award the house that has performed best in academics as well as athletics and all other disciplines within the school. That award is represented by the Sir Paul Schoon Trophy. And this award goes to the most outstanding house for 2023. <laughs> I'd like to ask a representative See, this is my problem with this house. A representative from Walton House. So our outgoing house captain from Walton House, Walton receives a support Spoons trophy this year. We move now to the H.T. Batiste Memorial Award for English. And the awardee is Miss Athalia Thomas. For outstanding performance, in Food, Nutrition, and Health, the Bernadette Francis Memorial Award for FNH, and the awardee, Miss Adija Williams. <laughs> Miss Fitzpatrick will be collecting on Miss Williams's behalf. Outstanding performance in family resource management, the Bernadette Francis Memorial Award for FRM, and the awardee, Miss Kewana Batiste. Thank you very much, Ms. Benoit, member of the AHS governing body. And as Ms. Benoit leaves, I invite a member of the Eunice Steele family to assist us with the next award. Please put your hands together. And the Eunice Steele Memorial Award goes to Miss Nevea Williams. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And now invite a member of the McBarnett family to help me with the next award. Please put your hands together for Mr. McBarnett. Our next award, the Jerome McBarnett Award for Public Speaking. And the winner, the awardee today, please put your hands together for Miss Geneve James. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much, Mr. McBarnett. We now invite our featured speaker today, Reverend Coffey, to assist us with the next few awards. Let's put our hands together for Ms. Coffey one more time. Sorry, that's Reverend Coffey. And we'll begin with the Joanne Comijon Award. This award goes to achievers who contributed most to the life of the school. Please put your hands together for Miss Cardine Phillip. Miss Kiana Marriott B. Miss Destiny Langine Peters. Ms. Anya Francis. Miss Angelia Chase. Miss <laughs> Shonlin Nicholas. and Ms. Nevia Williams. <laughs> Reverend Coffey will also present the Diane Marshall Holdup Award for the best mathematics achiever. And this award goes to Ms. Deja Green. The Ruth Rouse Award for Literacy. One moment, Reverend. The Ruth Rouse Award for Literacy. And this goes to Miss Shonlin Nicholas. Reverend Coffey will do one final award before we bid her leave. This is the Clement Francis Award for All-Round Excellence. This award goes to the achiever who has exemplified the ideals and philosophy of Anglican education. The awardee, Ms. Chenille Simmons. Thank you very much, Reverend Coffey. 
And it gives me great pleasure to invite to assist us with the next award, the GE Mason Francis Award for Academic Excellence. Please put your hands together and welcome our past principal, Mrs. Mason Francis. This award goes to the achiever who has excelled throughout her entire school career. Please put your hands together for our awarding for 2023, Miss Seanlin Nicholas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please put our hands together for Mrs. Mason Francis. <laughs> please bear with this old lady, you know. My Anglican High School family. The G. Mason Francis Award for Academic Excellence goes to the student who has excelled throughout her school career from forms one to five, and who has done very well in her CXC examinations, CSEC examinations. 2023 marks the 23rd year of this award. So far, there was one year, 2011, when no one qualified. And to date, eight of the awardees have been the daughters of our past pupils. Nowadays, the emphasis seems to be on number of subjects. But I go for quality and not quantity. Apart from her academic achievements, my awardee, must also exhibit excellence in her conduct, her deportment, and her general behavior. As is usual, I am making a special appeal to you young women to be people of quality. Pay attention to your speech, your deportment, your manner of dress. The present generation seems to think that whatever existed before must be changed. Be very careful with the changes you make. Be well-mannered, respectful, and courteous. Be kind, loving, and lovable. There are several times I have said things to you. If you are thinking of a career, and this is something I always stress, a career in education or medicine, a lot of self-sacrifice will be necessary. 
And remember, in these two areas, you are dealing with people's lives. To be blunt, you give them life, you make them live, the young children in school, the people in the hospital, or you kill them. So be very careful. Always be women of substance and quality. And bear in mind, especially if you're thinking of going into politics, a leader is always the servant of the people he or she leads. Young people seem to think that you remain young for your whole life. I was young like he wants. Be careful, as what you now sow is what you will reap. Above all, remain grounded in your faith. There is a God, a superior being, who is in control of the world. Mankind is not in control. I now welcome you to the adult world. The world is in your hands. God bless you all. And remember, A-H-S, what does it mean? Always high standards. We have two examples here with us today, our permanent secretary and your headmistress, my past pupils. Thank you. Thank you once again, Mrs. Mason Francis. She didn't make mention, sorry, of two of her past pupils. So I'd like to invite one of them, our current principal. I believe she was referred to as the head and the captain of our ship. Please put her hands together for Miss Kim Paris. She will assist us with the next few awards. Ms. Paris will assist us first with the Madeleine Batista Award for Excellence in Social Studies. Please put your hands together for our awardee, Ms. Kewana Batiste. Ms. Paris will also present the Principal's Award for Diligence in Spite of Daunting Circumstances. And our awardees are Miss Alicia Thompson. Ms. Shania Harford. <laughs> Ms. Anya Francis. Ms. Nikayla Williams. <laughs> Ms. 
Miss Jodine Sylvester. Miss Siraj McSween. Miss Angelia Chase. Miss Angela Bowen. Miss Angelina Bowen. And our final awardee in this category, Miss Harriet Stephen. Thank you very much, Principal Paris, for your assistance this morning. Let's put our hands together for the captain of the ship. And our final special award to assist us with this one, former student of the Anglican High School, permanent secretary in the Ministry of Sports, Ms. Desiree Stephen. Please put your hands together for her. Stephen will be presenting the Desiree Stephen Award for Sports Personality of the Year. I heard someone whisper. You are correct. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Anya Francis. Ms. Stephen, I'll ask you to remain. You will assist us with the distribution of our certificates. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you adieu, and I'll turn you over to our mistress of ceremonies. A momentous occasion indeed. Our graduates will now receive their well-deserved certificates, making the culmination of their academic journey. I invite, I invite the form teachers to present the names. Tara Modest. <laughs> Siraj Maxween. She will also receive an award for the life of Walton House. And this award is sponsored by Hazel German. Kiona Joseph.
that it's for. Outstanding achiever in information technology. The Lois Alexis Atterbury Award for the most outstanding achiever in tennis. For the spirit of the Anglican High School. For Family Resource Management Award for exemplary performance. Also be awarded the Ariel Ned Award for 12th CSEC position. Shania Hafford. Shania is also awarded the Janaya Roberts Award for 8th position at the CSEC. Exemplary performance in principles of a course. Mubashira is also awarded for the spirit of the Anglican High School. Destiny Kingston. Destiny Langine. 
Destiny Langine is awarded the Linda Victor Award for the most outstanding achiever in field events. The Kareem James Award for most outstanding in sports. And she is also awarded the life of Walton's house. Athalia Thomas. Natalia is awarded the Risha Williams Award for fourth place at the CSET, the Chanel Fleming Albert Award for most outstanding business achiever, the Colette Francis Award for literacy and numeracy, the Grace Norville Award for French Horrors, and for the spirit of the Anglican Act. Nathaniela Stafford. for the spirit of the Anglican High School. Christine Cato. <laughs> Nyla Juke. Nyla is awarded for the spirit of the Anglican High School. The Shade John Award for Dedicated Assistance, the Dr. Josen Brofitt Award for the Most Academically Improved, and for the Life of Walton Sobs. Zeda Shabazz. Zeda Shabazz is awarded the Life of Bertrand Sobs. Sharinia Felix. Sharinia is awarded the Shadi John Award for Dedicated Assistance, the Dr. Josen Brofitts Award for the Most Academically Improved, and she is also awarded the Life of Walton Sucks. Lene Thornhill. Lene is awarded the spirit of the Anglican High School. <laughs> Melanie Allen. <laughs> Jada Dominique Francis. Jada is awarded the Dr. Joseph Brofitt Award for the Most Academically Improved, the Valda Lalsi Award for All Round Improvement, and she is the life of Galway's House. Ania is awarded the Camille Thomkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, the Gloria Lambert Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Netball, the Helena Lewis Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Basketball, the Kareen James Award for the Most Outstanding in Sports, 
And of course, she was the life of Walton Sons. Alia Boswin. Alia is being awarded the Grace Norville Award for French Horrors and for the spirit of the Anglican High School. Thank you, P.S. Stevens, for your distribution of certificates and awards. Archdeacon Marshall to give out the first set of certificates for Form 5H. in communication skills, the Nola Bartholomew Award for Most Outstanding Guide, the Grace Novel Award for French Orals, and Spirit of the Anglican High School. Shonda Mark. So 
received the following award, the Health Link Award for Fortitude in Sports and the Life of Gawi House. And also she received a special award from Gawi House. Jada Bud. Jada Bud will also receive the following awards. The Deborah Mason Award for sixth place for CSEC. The Cassandra Alexis Williams Award for top performance in textile, clothing, and fashion at CSEC examination. The Edgenel Heliger Award for excellence in the area of textile, clothing, and fashion. The Grace Novel Award for French Oral. And the Health Link Award for fortitude in sports. Charlene Nicholas. She will also be awarded the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for Passes in All Sciences, the Knoxell Charles Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Information Technology, Spirit of the Anakin High School, the Fiona Duravani Award for Excellence in History. Tyresha Wildman. received the award for Life of Butchern House. <laughs> Rhea Flanders. Samari McBurnett. The Spirit of the Anakin High School. Giovanna Antoine. Giovanna will also receive the award, the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos and the Spirit of the Anakin High School. Natalia Isaac.
Fernando Vez.
Monty Greenwich, our PTA president, to award the final four. Celia will receive the Grace Novel Award for French Orals and the Spirit of the Anglican High School. skills, the Dr. Orione Alexis Award for Modern Languages, the Grace Novel Award for French Oral, and the Spirit of the Anglican High School. Azaria Bernard. Azaria is awarded 
for the spirit of the Anglican High School.
Sophia Ross. Sophia is awarded the Health Link Award for Fortitude in Sports and for the life of Walton Souls. Latosha Danielle Green. Novel Award for French Auras and for the Spirit of the Anglican High School. Marissa Mitchell. mention because they have been awarded a gift certificate of $200 sponsored by the Alliance Francaise for their performance in French. Jada Bud, Deja Green, Janique Mitchell, Atalia Thomas, Angelina Chase, Lydia Lalji, Shalisa Noel Antoine, Chizoba Goodin, Tiana Lewis, and Retisha Richards. Oh, correction, girls, you will receive $250. So at this moment, I would like to acknowledge a few of our sponsors. Annalisa Mitchell, Ariel Ned, Cassandra Alexis Williams, Celia Edwards QC, Sherry Stephen Cromwell, Chanel Simon, Colette Francis, Darlene Evans Lambert, Deborah Mason, Decima Blake Thomas, Denisha Cyrus, Dominic Gaspard, Dr. Alyssa Peters, Dr. Deborah Ann Stephen John. Dr. Josanne Brathwaite, Dr. Oyeng Oyeronke Alexis, Edlyn Lalsi, Adriel Helga, Edwina Niles, Farian Philip, Fiona De Revenir, Jillian Hackett Grant, Gloria Lambert, Grace Niles, Grace Norville, Hazel Jeremiah, Heather Andrews, Helena Lewis, J.D. Caton Malcolm, Janaya Roberts, Jadine Decoto, Janae Greenidge, 
Janelle Vivek Carbon. Let the melody of another musical interlude fill the air. At this time, we'll have a group of our talented graduates.
No hope is frail. Thank you very much, ladies. I will continue with the acknowledgement of our sponsors. Geraldine Edwards, Karina Cooper, Kimoy Edwards, Karen James, Konica Francis, Lena Lousy Gaspard, Linda Victor, Lois Alexis Artiberry, Lynthia Victor, Michaela Hannibal, Marsha McDonald, Martina Modest, Nikita Stewart, Nika Johnson, Narissa Celestine James, Nisha Jeremiah Maxween, Nola Bartholomew, Noxel Charles, Olivia Victor, Ray Goddard, Renelle Francis, Roselle Grant, Risha Williams, Samantha Thomas, Sebi Greenwich, Shadi John, Shania Johnson, Sheena Boca, Chanel Fleming Albert, Terrine Gilbert, Valda Lalsi. A perspective from experience. Let us eagerly listen to the insights shared by our past head prefect, Michonne Nicholas. Standing on existing courtesies. Pleasant morning and happy Wednesday to you all. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. Don't give up. Failure is the inability to perform, proving unworthy due to varying factors which eventually leads to being unsuccessful. Failure should not be fed. A popular Chinese proverb known as Jiao is used to encourage athletes and performers to go get it, persist, fight on, and most importantly, don't give up. As I stand before you today, Fellow graduates, I want to exclaim, Jile to every hardship, limitation, and trial you go through. Jile, Jile. Drawing back in time, our journey to this auspicious day can be compared to a marathon. We had all burst into the walls of the Anglican High School, some tiny, Others plump with, this, with dazzled eyes and youthful smiles. The long awaited experiences of secondary school, rumored and seen on television screens, were at our grasp. The annual tea party, fair, carling competitions, and the infamous intercall games would have been the best introduction to Form 1. However, due to overlying complexities amongst faculty, we lucked out of such experiences for a total of two years. Despite daunting circumstances, we advanced to the second station of the marathon, proceeding into Forms 3 through 4. These academic years also plagued our spirits, impeding from the COVID-19 pandemic. This period truly evaluated our sanity as we were forced to adapt to a new system of education and communication with our peers. Many had to cope with the loss of loved ones while balancing their health and mindset. May the souls of our lost loved ones rest in peace. The final junction of this marathon was indeed joyous, thanks to the grace of our Prince of Peace. 
During the last eight months of our secondary education, we participated in the Christmas Carling Competition, which we claim victorious, the notorious Intercall Games, where we also proudly chaired our athletes into second place, and many more. Today, this marathon has finally ended. We've thrived, conquered, and grateful for the experiences. Throughout this marathon, the achievements made today would not be possible without those who consistently cheered us on Jayo. Firstly, the Most High God, the one who orchestrated such a marathon and ensured that we survived beginning to the end. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, he tells us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Secondly, the persons whom God himself has arranged as our keepers. Many of our parents and guardians sacrifice numerous pleasures to allow our academic dreams to flourish. Graduates, I invite you to stand with me and give a heartwarming applause to our parents and guardians. Thank you, graduates. Thank you, parents and guardians, for your five years of strength, guidance, and never allowing us to give into life's struggles. Thank you to Ms. Kim Paris, principal and head coach of this marathon. Your words of edification at every assembly always directed us onto the right path. You are always fearless in stepping out of your comfort zone to demonstrate love to each student, whether through speech or actions, and proved that you weren't too old to participate in the latest trends. To our teachers, those who dedicated their health and lifestyle selflessly to educate us. Their funds, which were used to ensure that our minds, hearts, and stomachs were filled with food and laughter. Many of us will cherish the memories of our late night study camps, motivational discussions, hide and seek during breaks, and of course, your teaching. Thank you for being our mentors and advisors along this marathon, ensuring that we persisted with diligence. Also, great appreciation must be given to the auxiliary staff, the homemade meals prepared every day, as well as the sanitized washroom facilities and clean surroundings have played a great part in our mental and physical well-being. Graduates, you must also give some praise to yourselves as well. For with our tenacity and endeavors, you could not have succeeded. As we exit the walls of our soon-to-be alma mater, I leave these ex lubricating words to the present form fives. Remember to study efficiently and utilize any free time to complete your school-based assessments and advancements in your studies. Ensure that you also create time for leisure. One of my favorite quotes written by Stephen Convey states, 
The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. The time you have left is significant. To our newly appointed head girl, Shefania, words to the wise. Failure is acquired when given into. This role is tedious. However, I advise you to work alongside the prefect body as it requires many hands of uplifting. With determination, strife, and cooperation, you will accomplish this task ahead. Throughout our five years of daunting, as well as blissful circumstances, our outcome is success. Failure did not conquer our endurance. Graduates, I wish to speak in the words of old Mandino. Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is stronger. This is only one of the many marathons completed. There will be more as you enter the vast opportunities of this world. Success is the achievement of desired outcomes, goals, and results. It does not yield to trials nor failure. I implore you to try as Jehovah Jireh and many others cheer you on, Jireh. Jail. I thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Nicholas. To continue with our sponsors, I'd like to acknowledge the AHS class of 1996-1997 the AHS class of 1999, AHS class of 2006, Aliyah Sam, Anika Murray, Antoinette Lewis, Abigail McIntyre, Camille Thompkin, Cheryl Gibbs, Desiree Stevens, Justine Lewis, Kerryanne Alexander, Lisa George, Reese Sam, Sasha Murray, and Trisha Clark. In the spirit of determination and resilience, our graduates will now serenade us with the empowering song, Try Everything.
Thank you very much, ladies. To respond, let us welcome our current head girl, Ms. Shafonia Houston, who will share her thoughts on this remarkable journey. Standing on courtesies extended, pleasant afternoon to all. Today, I stand before you as a newly appointed head prefect, filled with a mix of emotion, excitement, gratitude, and a touch of nervousness. It is with great honor and pride that I congratulate the graduating class of 2023 on this momentous occasion. You have come a long way, faced challenges, and trumped, proving to the world that you are ready to conquer whatever lies ahead. As we gather here to celebrate this milestone in your lives, I want to share a powerful message that resonates deeply with our team. To not fear failure, but rather fear not trying and never give up. This, this team encapsulates the essence of what it means to truly live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Throughout your educational journey, you have encountered numerous challenges and faced moments of self-doubt. However, it is crucial to recognize that failure is not a reflection of worth or potential. Failure is simply an opportunity for growth and learning, a chance to rise above limitations and discover the vast reservoirs of strength that resides within you. Too often, our fear of failure holds us back from pursuing our dreams and reaching our fullest potential. We may be intimidated by the possibility of stumbling or falling short of our goals. But let me remind you that it is through our failures that we learn our most valuable lessons and lessons about resilience, determination, and the power of persistence. Today, I want to honor our outgoing head prefect, Shawnlyn Nicholas, for her extraordinary service. She embodied the true spirit of leadership, guiding, and inspiring us all. Her unwavering commitment, dedication, and passion have left an indelible mark on our school community. Shawnlyn has shown us the importance of leading by example, uplifting others, and embracing challenges fearlessly. We are grateful for the legacy she leaves behind and the inspiration she instilled in each one of us. Graduates all, at the Andakan High School, there is an unspoken sisterhood that we must continue onwards as active members for the rest of our lives. 
as you bid farewell to the formula, familiar hallways and classrooms that have shaped you, carry with you memories, friendship, and lessons learned. I ask of you to show forth love, support, prayers, and acknowledgement to the principal and staff of that for nurturing you for the new road ahead. Your achievements today wouldn't be possible without the efforts put forward. As you pursue your future academic endeavors and aspiration, let our school's motto resound in your spirit and minds. Facts are non verbal deeds not word. Once, I, once again, I say congratulations on this milestone. I thank you. At this time, we invite Ms. Kim Paris to the platform. I invite Ms. Nathaniela Stafford to the mic. Kim Paris. Today, in honor of the Form Fives, we would like to present a small token to you for all your service and hard work throughout the five years. When they thought we would walk away, when we thought there was no other way, we promise we will make it through this. We're so glad that you stayed. And oh, we thank you for never changing all the promises you cast away. Just look at us now. Look what we found. We're so in high, way off the ground.
as we approach the closing chapters of this ceremony, our graduates will sing the graduation hymn on leaving school. Expressions of gratitude are in order. Join me in welcoming Ms. Jenny Mitchell to deliver the vote of thanks. Distinguished guests, respected teachers, dear parents and guardians, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a warm and heartfelt good morning to each and every one of you. Today, as we stand at the crossroads of our past and future, I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude that I wish to express on behalf of our graduating class. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge our almighty God for guiding us through the toughest times, for being our strength whenever we felt weak, and for blessing us with the wisdom to navigate the challenges of our academic journey. We are humbled by his divine grace, which has brought us to this significant moment. To our parents, guardians, family members, and friends, your unwavering love and support have been our anchor. In moments of doubt, you stood by us with patience and encouragement. Our journey wouldn't have been the same without your sacrifices and prayers. 
Thank you for being our pillars of strength and for sharing in the joy of this accomplishment. To the esteemed individuals who have graced us with their presence today, Ms. Desiree Stephen, Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for Youth, Sports, and Culture, the Venerable Michael Marshall, Manager of the Anglican High School, Reverend Kiba Coffey, our featured speaker this morning, Mr. Monty Greenwich, President of the Anglican High School Parent Teachers Association, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Baptiste, our respected past principals, the acting principal of the Anglican High School, Ms. Kim Paris, and to our other esteemed guests, your presence adds immense value to this celebration, and we are grateful for your support as well as your participation in today's event. Further mention is made of our respected principal, Ms. Kim Paris, for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best and stand as pillars of strength. With a deep sense of appreciation, we thank her for her untiring efforts. A special note of appreciation goes to Mrs. Melia Daniel Peters, chair of today's ceremony, for her leadership and contributions to this success of the event. I would also like to extend my sincere gratitude to the members of the AHS Board of Management for their guidance and steadfast commitment to steering our school towards excellence. To our dedicated teachers, you have not only imparted knowledge, but also instilled in us the values of perseverance and curiosity. Your extended efforts and commitment to our growth have not gone unnoticed. You've been more than educators. You've been mentors and guides, shaping not just our intellect, but also our character. Thank you for investing in our future. An extension of my gratitude goes to the dedicated auxiliary staff of the Anglican High School, your tireless efforts in nurturing our minds and guiding us to this milestone have not gone unnoticed. Your commitment to our education alongside that of our esteemed teachers has laid the foundation of our success. I also extend our gratitude to the past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School, both present and those viewing online. Your collective influence has shaped the legacy of this institution. As we stand on the threshold of a new chapter, let us carry forward the lessons learned, friendships forged, and the love that surrounds us. To my fellow graduates, thank you for the laughter, the shared moments, and the unspoken support. Our shared experience binds us in a way words cannot express. May our paths be blessed and may we continue to support and inspire each other. In closing, I would like to express our sincere thanks to everyone involved in organizing and executing this ceremony. Your dedication has made this day possible and we are grateful for your contributions. Thank you all for being a part of our journey. Today is not just a culmination, but a commencement and we step into the future with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you. In a harmonious conclusion, let the echoes of our school hymn resonate through the hall. I invite graduates, staff, past students, current students in the audience to stand and proudly sing our school song. I would like to invite Ms. Nella Gilbert to lead us in the school song.
You may be seated. <laughs> As we approach the conclusion of this ceremony with a spirit of gratitude, let us come together to receive the concluding blessings for, our, for this graduation. I invite Archdeacon Marshall to deliver the benediction and the blessing of the school rings. We added to the ceremony briefly as we bless the school rings for those graduating. May they be a symbol of your journey through the walls of the Anglican High School. May the unending circle of the ring be to you the unity formed amongst you in the past five years and now joined to those who would have passed through the walls of the very institution. And we ask the Lord to bless these rings that it may be worn with pride, dignity at all times for those who now graduate from this institution, the Anglican high school. Please stand for God's blessing. A 
as you prepare to depart from us, from the Anakin High School. I want to remind you the words of Shakespeare, that all this world is a stage. All this world is a stage. You will make your entrance. You will make your exit. And I add this, that whatever little you can do, may it be well done. For you shall pass this way but once. Any little thing you can do, do it now. Autograph it with excellence, for you shall never pass this way again. And may God gracious favor be upon you. May his face shine upon you. And may he be gracious unto you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and forevermore. Amen. you will remain standing. The others may sit. Just a note to you, ladies, graduates, that after the recession, you can collect your rings at the prize table, okay? Now I invite you graduates to turn your tassels. So this has now symbolized your move from childhood into adulthood. And now, as we bid adieu to this ceremony, the graduates will recess, symbolizing the end of this significant chapter and the beginning of new adventures. Ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate the achievements embrace the memories, and look forward to the promising future of our graduates. Thank you and congratulations to the Anglican High School Class of 2023. Them, them, no.